So February is a time of year where we hit the trough in terms of racing. Um, and it can be quite difficult to find a lot of people going on tilt, unexpected losses occurring and people quitting and stuff like that. But it's just part of the natural racing cycle. So, you know, the flat season, um, it starts and peaks at a certain time of year. The all weather uh, peaks at a certain time of the year. The jumps is at a certain time of the year and so on. And then there are multiple transitions between each of these different modes of racing. And that can throw people out a bit because they are, you know, distinctively different. So the jumps racing behaves differently to the flat season. And at the beginning of the flat season, you get the uh, new horses that come out that have no form lines. Um, and the all weather is very different from the flat turf. So, yeah, you know, you get these transitional periods. But also during the winter, you know, it, it can be a bit bleak at times. You know, there can be races cancelled, moved, postponed, delayed. Um, the weather can be poor and the quality of the racing is lower, there are less feature meetings. So, you know, it can be quite difficult and that very often causes people to sort of go astray and, you know, lose focus. But for me, it's really simple and that is, I know I can't do as much in the winter on the racing as I can in the summer. So in the winter, I'll do one third of what I can in the summer. So there's just no point in me pretending that I can get those big totals. I don't set myself a target saying, this is what I'd like to achieve and this is what I am going to do because I know it's just going to be much less. So I just pick off the best opportunities that I can, but accept that there are just many, many fewer around this time of year. Or there has been, because of course we're on the cusp of Cheltenham now. So the, the trough for me typically is in February, and then it starts to pick up and go forward from there, because we now have um, Cheltenham, Aintree, Guineas, Derby, Royal Ascot, you know, things really begin to start to pick up from here. So people often struggle during the winter when trading on the racing because they're very different markets than those that you see in the summer and the racing may start to finish at four in the depths of winter and in the summer it will start at uh, 1 32 o'clock and go on until nine or even later half nine so and, and there'll be 50 odd markets in the summer uh, all of which will run uh, probably most of them on time and they won't clash and in the winter totally the opposite could could occur so there's still opportunities there are still things to do but there's no point in overstretching yourself to reach a target that is simply unattainable. So the, in winter, during the quieter off season in racing, I'll be doing research, preparing for uh, the rest of the season, looking at new areas. So I've been doing lots of work in play uh, during the winter on the jumps this year. And now when that comes around to the flat season, you know, I, I can kick that off again and examine the differences between the two and so on and so forth. But it's a time of year to have a bit of holiday, rest, get some research ready, gear yourself up for the following year. And, you know, don't overstretch yourself because if you set yourself, say, a target of, you know, X a day, in the summer you may be able to achieve that easily and in the winter it's going to be much harder. So you very often overstretch yourself and lead yourself into errors and doing silly things. So, yeah, just accept that it's going to be poorer. When, you know, the first winter I went through was tough and I was thinking maybe I've lost it or maybe what I'm doing doesn't work and that wasn't the case. You know, you subsequently learn that that wasn't the issue at all. It was just the, the, the way the markets panned out. And so you have to try and remain consistent and you know build on your strategies, work hard and all of those things, but just accept that it is a tougher time of year and don't get too depressed about it. Use the opportunity to relax, do a few things and um, get yourself ready for what will be you know a very long summer this year because we've got the World Cup, um, Wimbledon, and uh, Royal Ascot, all of those things, you know, when, when you look at that period, it's going to be so intensely busy in and around that sort of June, July period and stretching off and uh, into August. So, um, you know, there's a, there's a great deal to be done this year and it would be normal to expect that this summer is going to be pretty big, whereas the, the contrast to the winter will be quite stark. So, yeah, you know, don't panic if uh, you have a hard time during the winter. It's perfectly natural. Um, just be sensible about it and accept that your income will be lower, but that will be offset when we get more opportunities during the summer.